What's up guys, Joe Drake here, Gravity and Oxygen Fitness, and I wanna to talk to you guys about the 80-20 rule. So I know you guys have all probably heard of Pareto's Law that you know 80% of your results come from just 20% of the work. Uh, and I'm sure you're thinking like, okay, cool, so I've heard this before. How does this relate to me losing weight, me feeling good, seeing changes in my life? So I want us to take this kind of to the next level, take it a little bit deeper. So first off, understanding that focus leads to more results, that it only takes a small amount of work to get really you know big results in the end I want you guys to think about the fact that that also means small changes so if it is something you know in your life nutrition wise exercise wise you know I think oftentimes we think we have to change this entire pie we feel like we've got to reinvent everything in order to see progress um, but if you guys you know think about it in this 80 20 principle it really only takes small things you, know, you guys think about it think about a plane that's on its way from Vegas to New York and, and that plane takes off and it's going one direction. But let's say that plane, when it takes off, you know, veers maybe like, you know, five, three degrees to the right. And that over time, that path that was originally gonna take it to New York is going an entirely different place. So it just kind of shows you guys, it only takes small changes to really see big results down the road. Um, so don't feel like you've got to reinvent and do everything. The other thing I want you guys to think about is think about this as well as like this whole pie, this 100% of the people you surround yourself with. And that 20%, that close four or five people that you're around the most, those are going to have this biggest impact on you in the long run. So are they supporting what you're trying to achieve? Uh, do they support you eating healthy when you go out? Do they support you exercising and working out every day? Do they support you finding balance in your life? So hopefully the answer is yes, but if not, then it's something you guys gotta continue to keep asking yourself. And then the last thing with the 80-20 rule is, uh, is thinking about when you guys are going about trying to make a change in your life, you know, those who like are into our good to great challenge right now, who are trying to make some progress and, you know, in a short and a long period of time, um, it's this idea that, that we've got to come in and, and we start focusing on, you know, hey, you know, should I, should I eat low carb? Should I, what about my timing of my food? Um, what about my macros? Uh, and, and if you were doing, you know, no tracking, no anything, not even worrying about nutrition before, you don't really need to get that specific. You know, and that's, if you guys look at it, 80, 20 related to that topic is that, you know, 80% of your results are going to come from your psychology, your state of mind, and this overall approach. Only 20% are really going to come from like skills and strategies. So I would say, you know, learning about kenogenic diets or learning about low carb diets or super specific, you know, kind of advanced nutritional approaches are those skills and strategies. Now, are those important and can those get you results? Of course they can. And a lot of people do. But when you flip your idea and your focus straight to that first, you might be totally missing out on the fact that you know, you're not changing, you're not addressing the underlying psychology or the underlying issue in your life that's causing those things. So maybe you see some results for a little while because you do this kind of like special, kind of exciting way of eating, but then what happens when it's no longer exciting anymore and you fall right back into the same path that you were doing before? So this 80-20 principle, the more that I continue to see it, the more that I realize that it really encompasses all aspects of life. So it is it is the focus, it is the who you're surrounding yourself with, it is the, the mindset versus the strategies and skills uh, so as you're looking to, you know, see some progress and see some changes, you know, throughout the rest of 2017, we're already in February. Keep 80-20 in your mind, and I promise you're going to see something special. All right, Joe Drake, I'm out.